One of my favorite things to create in 2020 was seamless titles. And I wanna just do one more tutorial this year on creating seamless titles. So we're gonna create very wavy seamless titles right here in After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing excellent today. So this is a really fun and simple concept. You're gonna be able to create something cool if you wanna learn more about creating seamless titles with different variations and different styles. I'll link a few of our tutorials down below that we created this year. You can watch them at any time. And without wasting more time, let's create something awesome. Let's jump into our tutorial. And as always, you can download our project files for free. I will link them below if you want to follow along. So we're going to start over here in our tutorial composition. And the only thing we have in here is a title. So go ahead and type out any title that you want you know, in a single line. So what you're going to want to do to create this seamless effect, first thing we need to do is grab our title layer once you have it typed out and go to layer pre-compose and you can call it title placeholder. Click OK. Then what we want to do is go back into that composition and we'll go to composition click on composition settings and we want to bring down the width and height to just kind of clamp down around the title. So we're going to kind of just get this nice and tight. You can see there's not much black space around the title at all and that looks great. So once you have the comp size narrowed down here, then just click on OK and go back into your previous composition and your title placeholder will still be in here. So what we want to do is go to effect, stylize and grab motion tile and we'll expand output width and output height until we fill up the entire composition. You might want to go a little bit further. Then what we'll do is we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline and we'll add a keyframe for tile center and we'll come here to the end of our animation. And we what we can do is move over the X animation of the motion tile effect and now we'll move it over and we can also move this up or down in any direction that you want and now you'll have a seamless title animation like this and that's really cool you can do it in any direction that you want and whatever speed that you want to go with so once you have the motion tile set up what we can do is pre-compose this layer and we'll just call this title motion tile move all attributes into new composition click ok all right so the first thing we're going to do is go to effect perspective and grab cc cylinder and where it says render, we'll set this to outside. Okay. And then we'll come here to radius and we can set this to like 135 and that's fine. And then we come here to let's say rotation and we'll set this to negative 25 degrees. And we come here to shading and we can increase the diffuse and the ambient just by a little bit there. And this should be good to go. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this layer and we'll go to edit, duplicate, and then we'll grab the CC cylinder and we'll click on reset. Okay. From here, what we'll do is we'll set our radius percent to like 129%, which is just like six points lower than the previous one. And come here to render and set this to inside. Okay, so that's all we're gonna do for here. Then we'll hit P on keyboard for position and we can just move this over. And then we'll hit Shift R to bring up rotation and we'll set this to five degrees and just like rotate it by a little bit there. And all we're gonna do here is just try to reconnect where it should be uh, inside of the comp here, you know, you can see it kind of folds into that and you kind of get that cut right there. And that's nice, nice and hidden. And that's totally cool. So then what else we can do is take this layer, duplicate it again, hit P on keyboard for the duplicated layer, bring up position and move it to the left side. And then we'll hit shift R to bring up rotation and we'll set the rotation to the opposite side. So negative five degrees. And we'll just do the same exact thing. Try to get that back in the spot there. And that's totally fine. Now, if you need to expand the height of this composition, like you get some extra black borders down here, what you can do is go back to your previous composition, go to composition, go to composition settings, and increase the height as well to kind of fix that if you get any like, you know, edges there. Okay, so now things are looking good, but I want to be able to take this to the next level. All right, and here's what we have with our animation done, and it looks pretty good so far. However, on the edges, we get these cuts here, and we'll solve this problem right now so really easy to do this we're actually going to do this by using a creative solution so we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and first thing first let's go ahead and colorize this so we'll come in to generate and we'll grab four color gradient and this is where you can select a really cool creative uh, color here i'm gonna grab a purple and when i have all these colors changed out i can come here and create like different variations of it and maybe just a little bit darker and perhaps we'll do like an offset color of like maybe a blue here and you can move these pins around create a very unique look and that's pretty cool then what we can do is create another adjustment layer and this time we'll go to effect distort and we're gonna grab optics compensation here and we can go ahead and increase this up to maybe like 100 and click on reverse lens distortion and maybe we can lower it down by a little bit, but that's going to get rid of that side cut that you'll have there. And this creates a very unique look on our composition. We also go into your effect noise and grain and add noise to this. And we can increase the noise up to like 12%. 
and uncheck use color noise and that'll create a very unique look on our uh, seamless title here and now here's what we have and it looks really good nice and seamless um, and the color and everything looks good however if you want a little bit more movement than this we can take our main cylinder here and move it over to the left or the right what we can do is create a null object by going to layer new null object and we can parent everything except for say for the adjustment layers to the null object so we'll parent that to the null and we'll come here to the beginning of a timeline we'll hit parent keyboard forward position add a keyframe for it and we'll move forward here and we can just bring the x position over and that'll make it appear as if our entire you know cylinder here is moving and i think that's a really cool look and to close out this tutorial i want to give a huge shout out to our 650 motion graphics starter pack extension right here inside of after effects so this is our motion graphics starter pack extension right here inside of after effects which holds hundreds of templates ranging from titles animated backgrounds called the actions shape transitions and more and for example if you're looking for a title animation we can come through here find a title animation that we want by previewing it and click on apply when you find the template that you want and we automatically get a full title animation imported into our composition which we can go into that title composition change out our titles to whatever we need it to say and we can easily adjust the graphics to fit our titles perfectly then it updates automatically in our main composition and we have this animation and then we can also apply accent motion graphics to help enhance this so we'll come into our clusters and we'll apply a very quick accent graphic cluster to this so now we have our title animation with a little bit more detail with our accent graphics to help bring this to the next level we can also apply an animated background to this or we can go to our expanded library of sunduck backgrounds and we can find a background that works perfectly for our project and when you find the right template you go ahead and click on apply all right and now we're able to put together a full composition right here inside of after effects by adding titles animated backgrounds and accent graphics to help take this to the next level and we have a handful of different packs for our extension right here in after effects so you can build up your library of templates that you can apply into any project you are working on so if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work you can take a look at any of our packs off our website i will link them below if you do pick up anything you will be supporting our channel so thank you very much so that is our tutorial on creating this awesome fun seamless title right here inside of after effects it was a quick one but you know very fun and hopefully very informative for you if you did enjoy this video be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel you can also hit me up my social media networks those links are below and always be creating